Here I'm going to show you how to create a newsletter with Canva. It's pretty straightforward to do and if you'd like to follow along I will leave my link in the description and if you click that you can try Canva for free or simply use it for easier login access. Let's begin. So wouldn't it be a Canva uh, newsletter tutorial without utilizing templates in this? That's exactly what we're going to do first and foremost. So in the search bar we just want to type in newsletter. As you're going to notice, a few things are going to come up. Well, there's going to be a newsletter for school, summer newsletter. We have this actual newsletter and email newsletter. For this, I'm just going to go for the standard newsletter so we can hit enter or just, you know, click on this right here. Now you may or may not have some designs that are going to be related to it. So that's probably not going to be there. But what I'm going to do is just click on Canva templates so I only get that. Now, if you'll notice, we have 3,398 newsletter templates to choose from, which is fantastic. And this is probably going to be the bulk of the work, and that's a good thing. It might take you a little bit longer just kind of looking for the type of newsletter that you want. So I'm going to give you some tips here. Ideally, you want to go something where you like the layout. The colors, like the text, the font, and the pictures, those can all be very easily edited. It's more of the layout. So once we see something that we like, all we need to do is choose it and then plug and play into, say, with our own branding, the colors we use, obviously the information for the newsletter, and so on and so forth. You're all going to notice that there are plenty of them that come with the uh, Pro. So that is something also if you wanted to utilize Pro. But for this, I am going to go with a free one just so in case you want to follow along, you can do that. Here's a newsletter that is very basic, but I happen to like it. It's going to be based upon a few topics, a little bit extra right there, and we have the image as well. You'll also notice that if you hover over some of them, many will be one page, and a few others will be actually more than one pages. Most of them are going to be two, for example. If you hover over this, you'll notice it says one out of two and two out of two. Okay. Regardless of how many pages you use, the process is going to be the same. So your job here is to look for something that looks good towards your liking, where you can go in, edit it, and then of course, be done as quick as possible. The next thing I just want to talk about is simply using your niche, your topic, your hobby, whatever it's going to be that you want to talk about for your newsletter. In fact, I think this one looks perfect. I love the fact that it's just simple. There's a lot to it. There's even four pages, so that could be a really good one. Let's narrow it down a little bit more. So for example, let's say I want to do a newsletter about say social media. I'm going to do that and hit enter. And you'll notice they don't have as many for this, which is fine. So what we could do is maybe just take off social media and do more of just marketing because I was thinking about doing marketing in the first place, right? It doesn't have to be related to that, but I think this looks much better, okay? So black and white modern, this one looks great. I love the fact that it's just simple. And so this is going to be the part where we go through and we pick one that we want to use. I'm not going to go through and bore you with that process. So give me one moment and I'm going to show you one that looks pretty decent that we can edit and then go from there. Okay, I ended up resorting to the one I talked about previously. It does have four pages, but we don't have to use all of them if needed. So I'm going to click on this right here. And something you'll notice too is that anytime you click on a newsletter that you like, the good thing about it is that it's going to showcase many that are very similar to it. So despite the fact that we have one we, re we really like, there could be some under here that are even better. So that's just a little tip for you. Don't forget to look down below because it's going to have more like this one. Nevertheless, let's go with this one here. Let's customize this template. All right, so first and foremost, in case you wanted to print with Canva, that is going to be that option for it. This is about purchasing, which we're not going to do in this. This is more about creating it and making it yours. So I'm going to X out of this. And if you'll notice, it looks very small at the time. So what we can do is just zoom in. Like this is going to be 100 right here. Okay, so we can keep it there. So let's start by just editing some of this. We can do marketing island newsletter what we want to do is stretch this out so it actually fits okay so this could be just you know marketing co issue 10 fine a lot of these things i'm not going to change around too much but let's change around the image given the fact it is marketing island i'm just going to use my brand as an example obviously you just want to switch the brand with yours when you're using it okay so we have uploads here and let's go with a plethora of pictures of islands i'm gonna go with this one let's drag it in right here perfect and obviously this is not a ceo we could just say you know issue we could also put issue number 10 here we could talk about anything you really want there it's up to you but i'm just using that as a little guide there so here's what happened in the last month and what's to come 
All right, so here's what happened in the last month at Marketing Island. In this newsletter, you can expect, and this is something I would probably update last. For example, if you go through and check out some of these pages, maybe some of these you just don't really need to add so much. Like maybe you don't have a big staff, right? So we could actually just go in and delete this specific page completely. Okay, if we wouldn't want to use that, we have stories of impact. And then of course, thank you for reading. Keep in mind, you can, let's see, hit undo. You can keep this page. It doesn't have to be obviously about staff profile highlights. This, for example, let's say I was doing, you know, with uh, Marketing Island, we could do software highlights, you know, something like that. And for each specific spot, this is where we can go in. We could add, you know, say Canva over here. We could have Pictory over here. We could have Create Studio. We could have Kartra and so on and so forth. Maybe a Chat GPT section. And then that's obviously where you can edit the notes. And last but not least, like Stories of Impact, so on and so forth. Thank you for reading. And a lot of that is going to be very easy to edit. So. Let's go through with a little bit more to make it look fancy. In fact, I think that looks fantastic. I love the white background and maybe it's just me because I am a sucker for uh, good scenery and islands, but I think that looks great just how it is. So this is where we can go in and obviously talk about what we did. So what I'm going to do is go to chat GPT and just enter in some text that we can replace right here. All right, so what I did is just got a big blurb of text right here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of make it into breaks. So here I have a paragraph, I'm just hitting enter, enter, so that I can go down and change that around. Once again, enter, enter, and then from there, it obviously was a little bit too long, so I'm gonna copy this. I actually made it perfectly, just about perfectly long enough for this, so I'm also gonna go here now, and I'm gonna paste this in. Wow, almost made it perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna say delete a little bit of a section right here. Let's go with this. Perfect. And then we can hit enter right here. Perfect. And right here, what we can just do is like James cans. Okay. And we can slide this up. Now, if this was me, I'd probably just add a little bit more text there, but this is just for showcase purposes. Okay. I think that looks fantastic. I keep saying that, but uh, let's see once again. So we do have more section when it comes to news here. Let's just drag and drop some images into there. You know, very easy to do there. Community news, volunteer spotlight. So this could be maybe a specific software spotlight once again. I think I did that on the other one. Okay, event news. If we wanted to change this around, we can do the date. Let's just keep it in the future. Okay, and then let's add another image there. Okay, and scrolling down, once again, software highlights. I don't think I need to change around too much here, right? A lot of this is gonna be business as usual. We have a, an image there. Now here's the cool thing. If you wanna link to something and have it be clickable, you can certainly do that. So for example, we were talking about like software. Let's do chat GPT. I'm gonna copy this. Okay, so you'll notice how once I hover over it, let's say we wanna create a link, what we're gonna do is highlight it and then we're gonna click on this link right here and I'm just gonna paste it into ChatGPT and click on done. Perfect, now you're gonna notice right here how it's underlined, it looks like half of a link. Someone might not realize that they can click on this. So in order to help them do that, what I'm gonna do is highlight it again and let's go to the color here. So let's just simply do blue. Cause a lot of times when you see blue, you understand that like, yep, probably gonna be a link. So let's do that. And just like that, it is blue. In fact, I'd probably make it a little bit more blue. That's more of a dark blue. Let's go here. Okay, and I actually got the official little sign there for blue. So it's gonna look much better. So let's use that. And there we go. So now we have blue. What we can also do, if you want, you can bold it. So now it really sticks out. I think that looks so much better. So if you saw that, you'd probably be like, yeah, that's a link, I can click it. So that's a good thing. So that's how you're gonna be adding links to this. So thank you for reading. Uh, everything else looks like business as usual, just adding in your text, changing it around. There are some other things that you can do. I just wanna show you very quickly. If we click on this right here, we can go to the color for the background color. And if you wanted to change it around, I'm not saying you have to, I think this one looks fine. We can say, go right here. Uh, I'm gonna do undo, but this is gonna be how you can change the background. Like I said, maybe gray, not too bad, right? I still think look white looks better and I'm glad we have this here to kind of compare. But once again, I'm gonna do undo. So if you wanted to change that up, you can do that as well. So here's the last important thing. So you can save this a couple of different ways, but if you have links on here, here's what I recommend you doing. Let's go to share. And what we wanna do is download. 
Okay, so PNG is gonna be suggested, and I do recommend that if you're not using clickable links, okay? Go with a PNG, you're gonna be good, and of course, make sure all the pages are selected. They should be naturally, that's gonna be fine. But, but since we have a link and we want people to be able to click it, what you wanna do is click on the file type and then go to PDF standard. As it says, best for documents and emailing, okay? Once again, we have all pages, that's gonna be fine, and let's just simply download it. All right, so it has finished, and I'm just gonna open it right here. All right, and if we scroll down, okay, it looks great. I think that looks fantastic, the white with, once again, I think I've said that five times, but <laughs> continuing on. And here we are, if you'll notice, if I hover over this right here, it's gonna show chatgpt.com on the left. That means we can click on it and open it. I'm gonna do it in a new tab. I'm not sure if this is the official website of chatgpt. It might be like .ai or something else, so let's check it out. And it does, it goes to chat GPT. So that's gonna wrap up this Canva newsletter tutorial. I hope you got some good information out of this. As with all of my Canva tutorials, in case you haven't seen them before, I love leveraging templates. Upon doing so, it's gonna make our life so much easier where we can just go in, we can add our images, change out the text, and of course, add our links and so on and so forth as we need. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if I can't help you, someone else can always chime in, which is a great thing. If you haven't gotten to test out Canva, my link will be in the description where you can click that and try Canva for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this Canva newsletter tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.